In this video, we're going to look at something that everybody hates, or at least everyone pretends to hate. And we are looking at, of course, pie charts, because everyone hates pie charts. Everyone talks about how pie charts are the worst visualizations. And there are certainly many, many examples of pie charts to back up that claim. However, I'm going to argue from the other side today. And I think pie charts actually aren't that bad when you use correctly, because actually all visualizations are good when you use correctly. Or put it the other way around, when used incorrectly, all visualizations are bad. So what we have here, two categories, very nice and straightforward. Top half of the league, bottom half of the league, and some metrics shown within those two categories. So because we have two categories, it's very, very clear what the values are, what the percentages are. There's nothing, there's nothing lost. We can see really clearly what that data represents. A standard way to show that without a pie chart would be in a bar chart. And that's also very acceptable. However, I would suggest because it's a lot easier to show the value and the percentage whilst using a pie chart, that actually the pie chart comes out a little bit on top here because we can do that very easily. We can just select what we want to show and it shows it. You can't really do that in your bar chart to show the actual and the percentage, at least not without some kind of um, workaround, you know? Wonderful. Um, one of the things I would suggest about the pie chart and why they are hated is this misuse. Um, because if you have many categories with a pie chart, obviously you have to show those categories through colors. Whereas with the bar chart, you don't. With bar charts, if you want to, you could show it like this. The bar itself separates out the categories, whereas in the pie chart, the categories are only displayed via colors. So more categories equals more colors, and they can start to look ridiculous very, very quickly. And also the categories kind of get lost within that pie. Whereas on a bar chart, they'll just stay very separated nicely and evenly. So multiple categories, bar chart is going to win every single time. With two categories, I would suggest pie chart might not always be the correct option, but it's certainly very, very viable option. What I could like to see would be on the top half of a, of a report, like here, you show the top level of a hierarchy, you know, say, I don't know, like, Europe and Asia for sales. And then you break down here to show actually countries. Yeah. Something like that, you know, just as an example. Um, so here with your pie chart, two categories and on the bottom, you just have multiple categories because you can't really show multiple categories in a pie chart. Yeah. So from that perspective, also pie chart for me, looks perfectly fine. One other thing about pie charts is when you have a very tight split between your categories. So here, if we have a 59, I'm sorry, a 49, 51 split, it's very difficult to show that, or it's very difficult to show it on a visualization, even though of course we have the data labels and the visualization side with the pie chart it actually is much easier to see where that split lies. So even though in this situation, again, because we have here this exact, this 51, 49 split, even though it's a very, very tight um, separation between the two categories, it's pretty easy to see which one has more, right? Which again is much harder to show on your bar chart. One final thing, if we just quickly go to the PBIX and we can um, look at what I was talking about with the pie chart. And as I say, what I like is that when you look at the data labels, the options are quite a few of them, you know? So not only can we really select from the category what we want to see. So as I have here, all data labels, or you can say, okay, should just show me the value and the percentage because actually I have the legend up here. So you know which one's which. I honestly prefer in this case all because it makes it even clearer. Um, but you have a lot of options as to what you show also with the percentage, um, and also the value you can choose the decimal that you want to see. Now, I believe in this situation, it's probably not that helpful because, um, 
Yeah, maybe this one. It has percentages for both. So I'll have a look. Yeah, so in this one, we have a decimal for both. Um, so if I want, I can say, okay, then show me for my decimal places, show me two, or maybe show me one for decimal places, and show me two for my value. Um, that got lost there straight away, so that wasn't a perfect example. But just by moving around and a little bit of um, playing, exactly. So now you can see you have your two decimal places here and your one decimal place. Oh, I can't switch it around. So again, more options essentially here um, with what you can show than you get in other visualization types. So here on your data labels, you can um, essentially choose your just much more standard options. You show decimal places. Uh, of course, if you want to, you could put in your percentage in this, but as I said before, to show percentage and the value is a lot harder because it tends to be you could just show one or the other. I could say, okay, show value as percentage. And now I'm seeing this um, percentage as we um, have on here. So 55 and uh, 45. So we can show the percentage there for sure, but we can't show both like we can in this other visualization. So I would suggest if you want to use a pie chart and you have two categories, you just go for it and um, there's nothing wrong with it. There are other visualizations in Power BI that are more misused. I intend on making a video about that very shortly. So if you want to see that video, then um, please click subscribe. That would be cool. And um, feel free to tell me in the comments why you strenuously disagree with what I've just said, because I'm sure there'll be plenty of people who have uh, plenty to say about how much they hate pie charts, because there's always plenty of people to do so. Um, but maybe you'll look at this and you'll think, Maybe I'll start to use a pie chart every now and then. Not on every report, but just try and, you know, sneak them in a little bit. Try and join the pie chart revolution. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you very much and uh, goodbye.